Welcome, everyone, to the Real Who Beans cast. I am your host, Matrix Lord 212, and I'm with Scott. What's up, Scott? Hello, all. What's up, Bob? What's up? So funny. Yesterday, I said, well, we have nothing to talk about Doctor Who, and we're not going to do it for a while. And guess what? <laughs> we got a story to talk about today, so I just ate uh, my holes, and that's it. All right, so we have something to talk about with Doctor Who. There is news. Um, so what do we have, Vaughn? Uh, okay, I haven't received it yet, so I don't okay. know what happened. Okay, so basically, let me just get the article, and let's see what it is. Okay, so there's seven things that we learned about Peter Capaldi and Michelle Gomez at Regeneration Who. Okay, so here's what's going on. Uh, Peter Capaldi is easily embarrassed by cat calling. <laughs> Ooh. Peter Capaldi's first interview after leaving the show, so the room was overflowed with fans curious to hear about his life. A fan asked him if he had any influence on the Doctor style, and Capaldi admitted he showed up for Robots of Sherwood uh, episode in his own clothes, but often spent hours in wardrobe normally. Capaldi had to try on dozens of costumes and remarked, that was not fun after eight hours a day of taking my pants off. <laughs> <laughs> this comment caused an audience uh, admirer to whistle at him and catch him off guard. The actor face palmed and, and shared a laugh with the audience. So he don't like when people like whistling at him and stuff. That was pretty funny. He opened his he opened his um he opened the door for that one though. Yeah. Yeah. Taking his pants off. I know. Taking his pants off. Yeah. 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 Right. Michelle Gomez will team up with Rachel Talele and River Song. Uh, Michelle's Saturday panel packed uh, the room and was with uh, at the delightfully witty actress took the, as she took the stage. Gomez chatted with moderator Craig Cobalt about her upcoming role as Mary Wardall, Madame Satan which is a fitting title, uh, for the upcoming Netflix series, Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Ooh. Yeah. Um, she praised Talele for giving her the space to go wild with Missy. Gomez also shared an uh, anecdote about being in Big Finish's audio studio, where she ran into Alex Kingston. She didn't confirm that Missy and River would meet, but nevertheless, it would be an epic story. So there's oh, no definite God, no, thing. Oh, yes. God, that, I'd be good money to see that. There's no definite thing that they are going to be together. Um, let's see. Uh, what's next for Capaldi? The actor said simply nothing. He's currently yep. enjoying some time at home, yep. relaxing and drinking coffee while watching his favorite He's, TV shows. He said that laziness um, laziness is his thing now. Uh, <laughs> he, he loves sitting home watching The Wire and a couple of other shows he's watching. So that's cool. Yeah, listen, he, he could have time to relax. Yeah. yeah. And then I he could go he back and do his thing. And... So she said, Michelle Goldman's opened up about a personal life, particularly giving birth to her son at age 42. Dang. After a day of frustration, she hopped into a car and rode off to California Club, where she did a stand up routine. In yep. 2011, YouTube video floating on the internet has proved positive of her impeccable comedy timing. Now we all know why she got uh, the whimsical clever role of Missy. There you go. Oh, the next one's the drunk audition one. I yeah. know that by heart. What happens with that one? Okay. Okay. So basically, he talks about the drunk audition. Some fan, a uh, fan in the audience, asked him how did he get the role for the local hero, and or his what was his first acting job, basically, and how he got it. Well, it it happened that the director was at one of his when he was with um Bachelors from Hell. That was his fan back in the day okay he was performing and the i guess he got a little bit too drunk that night i think the director was there at the concert they did but somehow the director knew his um landlord or whoever was over where he lived at right they, they knew they knew each other so um basically he comes in drunk and um somehow they spark up a conversation and he, the director tells him to this point where, you know, would you like to be in a movie? He was like, yeah, because he thought that it was just going to be a short-term thing. So mm -hmm. basically the whole thing was that he got his audition, his way into acting by being drunk. Nice. <laughs> there you go. That's right, kids. You can also be yes. at the right time and 
be in the right time and right place and be shit on your ass drunk to get That's that right. audition. And just imagine if somebody trapped him back in time and made sure he wasn't drunk. He probably would have been an actor. Yeah, exactly. They, he was just, he was honest. He said that he got it drunk. You know, somebody was asking how he got into acting. And he said, well, I was drunk. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> what else do we have? Let's see. Okay, a Missy is unique and a biased creation. Yeah. Okay, Missy may have been the latest incarnation of the Doctor's enduring frenemy, the Master, but Garmaz made the role her own. She, she admitted, did. Yeah, she admitted that she didn't watch any of her predecessors because she knew the role would have to be diff a different frame yes. with her personality. Uh, and the fact that this regeneration was a woman. Garmaz respects the people who came before her in the world, but that didn't stop her from getting a little joke in after her schemes working because, oh, is that right? About her schemes working because she was a woman. According to Gomez, Missy Unpredictable Nation was partly a result of her playing around and the crew accommodating her fluid movements. I think a question should be that now that she's not doing Doctor Who, has she seen the previous incarnations of the master, like actually watched it? Mm -hmm. Now, the answer might be that she might not because maybe she's not done with Missy and maybe by watching them, it might influence her character to change mm -hmm. or not. But it would be interesting if she did watch it, not expecting to come back as Missy, every single incarnation of the master. And then she's called upon that. And then she does like a joke, like "I'm the master, and you, you, that you will obey me," like just like a classic yes, line, would be awesome you know, but her own twisted way. And I think that would be excellent. Uh, I would love to see her with her song. I don't know if that's going to happen, but I'd love to see her with uh, Tom Baker's Doctor. That would be kind of interesting to see, e e yeah. even if it's not a Missy Doctor thing, just the two of them playing off each other. Yeah, so that would be interesting. Um. And again, there's not that much else, I believe, with Doctor Who. Someone said, someone, um, one of our viewers had sent us something because I guess they really want us to do Doctor Who. Um, they're tr people are trying to help out mm -hmm. uh, to give us stuff to talk about. Um, so let's see what that is. Uh, give you a shout out to while we're here. I haven't had a chance. I haven't had a chance to really check out the site. I just. Okay, so uh, Cyber16 says, I don't know if this is worth making a Real Hogan's cast on, but the a promotional statement blurred, whatever is called for the Doc 2 2019 oh, yeah. annual. Yeah. Okay, so you have. Yeah, I know what it's about. All right, so what is it? It's basically, um, basically, she, I guess they interviewed her. I might be wrong. Uh, I just read the comment, and it's basically that it, hints at something past her first year as the doctor like okay. she she's going to be like long term basically or something like that longer than well, we even want. if it was a hint that there's another season that's fine. yeah 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 so, look i don't want it to be as i said before we heard something that that might happen she might be one season doctor yeah, and i was hoping doctor. against it because i want to see more of her yeah even though I was against her when, when it first was announced, mm -hmm. I still want to see more than a year of her, you know? Um, so, yes, give us another year, please. Just like there was an interview where um, Jeffrey Dean Morgan accidentally slipped that he's probably walking dead, meaning mm -hmm. I guess he don't die in the uh, finale next week. Uh, so thank you. So, you know, you know, but she didn't slip. But... Uh, yeah, that's nice. I want to know that she's going to continue on for however long. Just as long as it's more than one a year. I don't mm -hmm. think we should have it, unless the doc is really horrible. Oh, and God. then we're praying for it to be the end of the year, but I don't want to see a doctor for a year. I mean, Just she's going to have to be really good. Yeah. Yep. And everybody, you got your wish. There it is. Mm -hmm. The Real Hogan's cast tonight. the writers to make her good, too. So. The writing has to be stellar, and that's what I, I'm yeah. having concerns about. Yeah, I think we're gonna. Here's the thing. I, I and I do. I didn't mean to upset anybody when I said that about the Real Weeds Kiss because, again, this is my baby. The Real mm -hmm. Weeds Kiss is the first. You know, so 
I do want to do it. But again, we're not going to do it if there's nothing to talk about. Yeah, but, exactly. however, however, we can do them if we review classic episodes or if we review, if we have new members talking about their experiences mm-hmm. and we talk with them and interview them. So Just that's the thing. Come we're going to try to get some new num- members for you. And again, it's it's a long process, guys. Yeah, it you is. Can't, you can't just throw people on here, no. Because no. the thing, there's always a problem with that. Have yeah. had problems with that in the past. You have to really screen people. Yeah. Okay. And you really have to do some research. If they do videos, you got to watch them. Mm-hmm. Because again, you may it, it may be a situation where you never knew something about somebody, and then. It's a problem yeah. later on if they become yeah, part of your yeah. group. So yeah. I'm not saying anybody individually. I'm just saying that we have a responsibility to the subscribers, to you guys, mm-hmm. to give you quality it's entertainment true, and, and stuff. And sometimes we have people that are on the cast that work out, and sometimes we don't. And sometimes we make a mistake having mm-hmm. people on here as part of our group. So we're you. Yeah. So we have to screen better. And, again, if that means being a while for someone to come on, like before, yeah. I'll try to make it faster than my screening time, which could take like a year or two. Mm-hmm. Bond's going to help me. Everybody's going to help me. But yeah. it's not going to be like that, unfortunately. You know, a lot of factors in there. Yeah, you know. it is. And, it and, is. and there's stuff behind the scenes that you guys don't see that, you know, as a host and like a leader of this group and then – I have my people like Vaughn and everything. Mm-hmm. Like it's hard for us because we have to deal with like when we shut the camera off, it doesn't necessarily end. Nope. No. We nope. have to sometimes do our affairs, there's situations, mm-hmm. people in our group, we have to talk to them, somebody's upset. It could be somebody's upset with this one. Or somebody's upset with you know, you never yeah. know. And we have to like really in order to have a successful group, we need to like talk with each other and, and you know, see what's our strengths and weaknesses, what's bothering us, and maybe you know there's some issues that we didn't realize before. So mm-hmm. we're doing that now, and um, we will have in time some new members. Yeah. Maybe some people pop back. Who knows? Um, so that's it. Thank you, guys. Take care. Bye for now.